Do you, Francis Xavier Michael, take Gillian to be your wife? I do. Do you promise to be true to her in good times and bad, in sickness and in health? I do. And will you love and honor her all the days of your life? I will. Do you, Gillian Elizabeth, take Francis to be your husband? I do. And do you promise to be true to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health? I do. And will you love and honor him all the days of your life? I will. Patrick, the ring has already been blessed. Can you place it on her finger? Should we? Gillian, take this ring as a sign of Frank's love and fidelity. You have declared your consent before God and these witnesses. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessing. What God has joined, men must not divide. Amen. My friends, my dear friends, let us ask God to continue his blessings upon Francis and Julia. Holy Father, creator of the universe, maker of man and woman in your own likeness, source of blessing for married life, we humbly pray to you for this woman who today is united with her husband in this sacrament of marriage. May the fullest blessing come upon her and her husband so that they may together rejoice in your gift of married love and enrich your church with their children. Lord, may they both praise you when they are happy and turn to you in their sorrow. May they be glad you help them in their work and know that you are with them in their need. May they pray to you in the community of the church and be your witnesses in the world. May they reach old age in the company of their friends and come at last to the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may kiss your husband. <laughs>
and joy that comes on a day that came very close to tragedy. And it's turned into an occasion of love and happiness. We've all come through a very dark and frightening time. But now I feel the clouds have lifted and the sun is coming through. Oh, the two of you really belong together. And I can't wish you any more than for the two of you to have a marriage that has been as wonderful as John and mine. Mm -hmm. I love both of you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Dr. Coleridge. I have to go to work in a while. And do you need a bath? Yeah, well, you got a shower right in there. Hey, you could scrub me down so I could pass inspection, huh? That sounds too little yeah. for you. <laughs> Besides, mm. wouldn't it be a lot nicer to make up tonight after you've had a chance to rest and I've had a chance to do myself up? What do you mean, do yourself up? I mean, wear something special for you. Yeah, like what? Oh, maybe something like what you see in the window of the shop next to the grocery store. You got something like that? No, but I could do a little shopping on my way to work if you lend me fifty dollars. What do you need money for? I thought you got paid yesterday. I forgot my pay envelope at work. Well, I guess I could part with fifty dollars for a few hours, seeing as how it's for such a good cause. I'll get something that'll knock your eyes out. All right, now don't get too much. You don't need much to knock my eyes out. In fact, the less the better, all right? I know what you like. Well, I'm glad to hear it. You know, I was beginning to think you'd forgotten. Bad chance with you reminding me all the time. Oh, honey, I'm crazy about you, and one of these days I'm going to make you believe it. Oh, I believe you. And you're going to make me believe you tonight, huh? Right. What time? How about six o'clock at the diner? How about six o'clock? Right here. Mama thinks I'm not eating right. I told her I'd go by the diner tonight and get a well-balanced meal. What? If I don't, she may come looking for me. Oh, I see what you mean. You don't want any interruptions, do you? Right. All right. Well, I guess I'll go on home and take a rest and dream pretty dreams about how you're going to look tonight. Except you're forgetting something. Oh, yeah. How could I do that? No. I mean the fifty dollars. Yeah, well, first things first. Dusty. All right. We got ten, twenty, thirty, forty, five, fifty. You're not going to skip town on me now, are you? Yeah, I could really go far on fifty dollars. You know that was real nice before. Come on, Dusty. Wait till tonight. We'll give you whisker burn. All right. All right, don't worry. I'm even going to use a new blade and some of that aftershave really turns you on. You'd really like that, wouldn't you? I sure would. All right. Six o'clock tonight, all right? Yeah, there's going to be a hot time in the old town tonight. <laughs> 